Good afternoon internet, so it's Sunday, it's the 24th is it I think, could be, the 24th, we'll go for the 24th of March eh, and it's going to be somewhere around there, and it's not a bad day, so there's my family there in the car, we're all, they're going out to the beach, so I said I'd follow them on the bike eh, and if it's not too busy I might even whack the drone up, say hello YouTube, <laughs> right, okay, without further ado <laughs> And of course today we're on the uh, we're on the meteor to the key ring meteor custom made by my darling wife right so let's get the sun visor down for the start off well it's not a bad day today it's quite uh, it's a bit blowy but the good thing is it's not too cloudy, <laughs> I'll say it's not too cloudy, well, okay, maybe I lied, because <laughs> smack in front of me, there's lots of clouds. <laughs> but this way is not too bad. So I've just noticed my mirror is going to be a bit, uh, bit a wall. I don't know why. I'm sure, it's my kids in the garage. They squeeze past, and before you know it, your mirrors are gone to uh, the settings are going to be iffy. Right. So I thought today is a. I got to get out day for the simple fact is that according to the weather forecast this is our last dry day for most of the week coming which is really depressing because you know at this time of the, I mean come on this is the last week in March in it you know I mean we're in April the week after and uh, we're still I mean look at this you know I, look look at these clouds here look I absolutely awful really isn't it? I die after day after day I mean hopefully today it ain't gonna rain but you know to be told that next week is mostly gonna rain is just that so when they said oh we're just gonna nip down the beach I thought to myself you know what would we'll be rude not to come along for the ride so I thought to myself, and I'll stick the drone in as well. I don't know if we'll actually get the drone up because, uh, you know, Sundays, if there's a lot of people around, I won't put the drone up over people, you know. I mean, I'm entitled to, I'm licensed to, uh, and I'm insured and everything else that goes with it. But, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I'd rather not fly over people. Some people just get a little bit tadgy, you know. And uh, even though it's like a little dot up in the sky, they see you there with a the controller and they're like, oh, that man's got a drone. <laughs> He's spying on me. <laughs> you know, you're like, you know, in here, really. And you ain't even looking at him, you know, <laughs> but still near mine. I do understand, you know, that some people, and it's personal choice, and so i'd rather be a responsible operator than somebody that annoys people oh god blimey i always forget how this little meteor can be a bit bumpy to say the least well it's not very warm i've got to be honest i have my thermals on which i think was a probably a a good move on my behalf especially as we're going down somewhere by the sea which I'm not exactly too sure where we'll end up. I've got to be honest, these clouds seem to be getting worse. 
as we're going on. We got up this morning and uh, yeah, it was quite sunny, you know, and I thought, oh, this will be a good day. But uh, as the day has progressed, so as <laughs> so as the clouds formations gathered and gathered and gathered and darker and darker, hey. Eh? You know, it's great when you it don't have to make a difference. You know, when it's uh, when it's a few degrees up and you feel that sun on your back as you're riding along. It oh, it's great, hey. Eh? You know, I know, I know this is nothing to do with my uh, with my actual ride this afternoon, but but it's something that I think like is is really important because it I don't know it, it's you know obviously whether whether you're uh, whether you follow the royal family or not, which I don't. You know, I'm not I'm not you know I don't like them, I don't dislike them. To me, they're normal people you know, who basically just want to get on with their life. They're born into what they are and that's it. So, you know, but this thing with Kate Middleton at the moment, you know, and uh, I really feel sorry for them, I, you know, especially her, I really do. You know, that poor girl, what she's going through, uh, I mean, you know, diagnosed with cancer. I mean, that's awful. That's absolutely terrible. And then you have the trolls of social media, right? The people with nothing better to do. The people who just want to go around, jump into every wrong conclusion that they're able to do, you know? Oh, he's cheated on her, hey? I mean, for God's sake, what a load of total wasters you really are. That poor woman was forced to come out and sit there and announce what was wrong with her just to shut up the idiots of social media. What a disgrace. I hope they all sat down. Mind you, they probably wouldn't because I'd say 90% of them are that brain dead with such a negative outlook on life that it probably didn't have any impact on them at all. But you'd like to think that maybe, oh god blimey, Maybe that was a that was a ditch and half that was, eh? Maybe some of them, you know, that were the ones spreading the vicious little rumours around, might have thought, oh, we shouldn't have done that. No, you're too right. You shouldn't have done it. You know, how what a disgrace you are. Anyway, rant over, like I said, you know, and I'm sure that we all wish her the best of luck and you know a safe and speedy recovery because you know what a horrible thing you know cancer is a terrible thing I'm sure that we all know someone somewhere that's been taken far too early I do you know uh, in fact I know one or two but you know uh, it, it is it's, it's absolutely terrible right okay that being said let's get on with the uh, the job in hand now about my little outburst You know, I, I, I know I say this every time I ride this bike, and I do love this bike. I think it's great. This is this is a lovely, fun bike to own. It really is. You know, uh, it'll do really anything you want it to do. But the suspension is that hard on this bike. You know, and I have adjusted it. You know, uh, yeah. Still, never mind. Such is life. <laughs> I'm not the lightest of pe people to sit in it, so I'd probably take it to its limit anyway, you know. <laughs> I 
Oh, I do like this toe and heel thing. I really do. I can understand that some people don't, you know, it's, it's a personal choice. I've got to be honest, I, when I first bought the bike and I used it coming home, you know, never ridden it before, never ridden one of these before, and, and I like got a three hour journey to get it back. And uh, mind you, the guy I got it off, like I've said in previous videos, he got it adjusted right up so that he, he didn't use it as a toe and heel, he just used it as a conventional gear change. And uh, yeah, I struggled like hell at first, but when I got it back and I adjusted it to how it should have been, no, I think it's fine, I really do. Uh, sorted. These, these trees get me here, look, every time I come back. Oh, they've actually started doing something with them there. They had all the cables through them before, but uh, they, they seem to have moved the cables now. It's only been like five months, I mean. Do you know what? I really don't like the colour of this, uh, of this sky one bit. I don't know about put the drone up, it could be it could be put uh, put the brollies up. It'll be so nice when this weather actually gets to what it should be and you can go out without thinking, you know, oh am I gonna get wet or go oh, it's cold today or should I carry this or should I carry that and oh god. I mean, I know really being a responsible biker, especially an older responsible biker, you should really carry everything anyway, shouldn't you, you know? But, uh, yeah. But having said that again, and I've said it before, on these bikes, unless you've got some form of bag fitted, you know, whether they be uh, on the sides or a back box or whatever you want to put on it, there is absolutely no room on these bikes because there's no room under the seat. There's only just about enough room to get the seat on, you know, so you've got no chance of getting anything else on. And uh, so, yeah, it, 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 you know, it becomes a bit difficult. And there's only a little seat at the back anyway to strap things on, so... I think sooner or later I need to get a rack or something for the back of this because I, you know, I do like, I do like to carry, you know, like wet gear for instance, I mean, you know, living in the part of France that I live in, wet gear, it's, 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 it's essential, huh? it really is. Well, there's a few spits and spots of rain coming now which is really annoying to say the least. So this, this place I'm riding past here, look, this one, Secure Auto, see it? That one there. Now that's the place that's supposed to be doing the new CTs for the bikes. Ah, huh? that's the one. Yeah. So I'm gonna go down this week, uh, obviously, because it's, it's all supposed to kick off on the 15th and uh, and see if the man's got it all sorted because the last time I went in they hadn't got anything in place, they got no equipment he hadn't got his training done or and I don't think he wanted his training done so yeah and so I need to go in and say listen you know are you going to do it or not, is it happening because if it's not then I need to find somewhere else which is really a pain in the ass you know because it's alright the uh, the French government coming up with these 
marvellous ideas and what we're going to do but maybe someone somewhere should have the brain cell to sit down and think about it and think oh do you know what could be a little bit of a problem this lads let's get it sorted first put a little bit of thinking in but hey ho but what must be must be i take it I take it that these roadworks are uh, are actually finished here now, which is uh, which is rather pleasant because uh, this this is the way that if I was going to Odeon or Escobien or wherever this way this is the way that I come. But two years this road has been closed. Two years it, they've been doing this road. Can you believe? And. Uh, you know, you get the, you just get fed up with it in the end, don't you? So, but it does actually look like that they actually might have got it sorted out. You never know. The sea. I see the sea. We'll all see it in a minute because we're going to turn left down here and we're going to be on the other side of the harbour to where we normally go and then we're going to go up the little coast road from there and see if we can find somewhere to put up the drone like I said if there's not too many people around which hopefully there won't be Ooh. The old knee went down a bit funny then. I swear one of these times I'm going to put my two feet there. I mean, knee's just going to pop. Some, sometimes when I when I actually put the knee down, it it absolutely kills, you know. Right. Let's have a look around there. I quite like this area. Here. A bit of popping off the old exhaust there. Pop, pop, pop. So we could have gone down there, but now I'm just trying to think which way do we go here. Uh, I think I think we're going to go up here. Yeah. Looks like they've been having a bit of roads done round here as well. Look at this. Uh, France must have been given some more money off the European purse, eh? I've got to be honest though, the French roads, even though heavily sponsored by the Europeans, or you know, the European community, their roads are good, you know. It, 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 you, you struggle to find a bad road, no matter where you are really. I think my wife's behind me, sort of saying, he's gone the wrong way! <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> she could be right. <laughs> oh dear. I bet, I bet, I bet when I said, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. They all thought, oh good. <laughs> he's coming with us. <laughs> they love me, really. Actually, I, I have this feeling that I'm not too sure. I think actually we'll we'll probably try this, yeah. Now the wife is definitely behind me now thinking, that's it. He's gone totally and utterly wrong. And you know what? 
<laughs> she could be. <laughs> I think she's definitely right this this time. Well, if this if this isn't a little teeter around the back alleys, of, <laughs> I don't know what is. Okay, okay. I admit, I admit, I could have I could have made a bit of a pig's ear of this. I think I think this guy in front's done it as well. Oh dear me, I don't know. I should have let the wife lead. Am I back now to where I was going? I think You know what? I'm not too sure where I am. She hates driving around these little roads. I quite think it I find it quite nice to be honest. I do, you know, look at this, this is, hey, this is, as my daughter would say, this is cute. I'm not too sure, <laughs> she's not going to like this bit here, I tell you. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> oh dear. Try again. <laughs> I'm not too sure where we're trying to get that. <laughs> I, I should stop really, shouldn't I, and say, do you know where we're going? <sighs> do you ever get the feeling, lads, that, you know when you stop, I, and the minute I turn the camera off, No, hang on, hang on, not right, okay, so I'm back here. So right was not the way forward, was it, eh? Definitely wasn't. So it, it, it's, it's got to be left, hasn't it, eh? Okay, all right, sorted now, I think. There's the sea, look, there's the sea, okay. This is, this has got to be the sort of way, I think. You know, not that far from it. No, but it is in it. The minute she sees the finger turn off the recording, it's going to be like, ha, well, you made the right pig's ear of it, didn't it? <laughs> what I should do, I, I should pretend to turn it off, shouldn't I? <laughs> Actually, maybe not. That could be even worse. It's looking very black out to see. See, I, d I don't know if some of these actually go down. I bet, I bet they did, actually. But I think, I think there is actually better ones than that, if I remember rightly. I haven't been round here for absolutely ages. Well, I mean, I mean, there's the sea for God's sake, eh? <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't get a lot closer than that, can you? Eh? I mean, come on, let's be honest. See, I knew all the way along. I was only, I was only fooling. Uh, right. Hang on. Mr. Gear. It's nice hazies around here, eh? How the other half leave, eh? And half of these are Parisiums. Eh? We come for two weeks of a year. Now, to be fair, these aren't all locked up, eh? These are, or shut up, or whatever you want to call it. Half of these look pretty good. Right. So, what we need to do now is find. A little bit that actually we can drop down. Which has got to be some. Oh, there we go. I can see it. Look. Hey, that looks better. Sorted. That is wood there, okay. He's using the tree. 
to hold his wood and why not right now what we could do with it look is a nice little bit of a parking space it's got to be some around there where we're not going to be too intrusive on anybody else I think maybe there's some around the corner because I've got to think of the wife stopping as well all these walkers eh? I've often thought about taking up walking because it's really good for you you know but uh, I don't know I don't I'd be okay the brain the top half of the body would all be fine I'm not too sure hang on this is a bit of a parking space here I think somewhere I'm not too sure if the knees would totally agree with me Right, now we've got some out here, look. Ooh. Okay. This is more the... Uh, this is more the Himalayan. Area this oh good. Anyone for tennis? Sorted. Right. So I'm gonna swap round now and uh, see how busy it is to whether we get the uh, the drone out or not. Catch you in a minute. Okay, so couldn't get the drone up there. There was quite a few people on the beach and surfers in the water and everything, so to be fair. But the kids had a little game, so we're going to have a little ride up now, maybe, to the next one. See if there's anything around there. You never know. Nice fresh sea air. And the wife didn't moan too much, but she did. <laughs> she did wait till the camera was turned off, <laughs> and said, "That was a nice detour." Put it very politely. Eh? Oh, good. <laughs> right. Right, let's see where this one takes us, shall we? I'm not too sure if this will take us. That's where I want to try and get to, over there, but I'm not. It's not enough. Let's see, eh? This has got to follow the coast road. That's a bit. It's got to be somewhere along there. Whether there's anywhere to actually stop though. I think a lot of them are going to be the same here. Not too, <laughs> not too sure where this one goes. <laughs> the wife, oh. Hang on a sec. Probably nowhere by the look of it. Oh, 
so that was a good one don't really want to go there maybe across there <laughs> in search of somewhere to stop where there's not too many people I'm not too sure if the wife's turned around yet here she comes <laughs> it's easier on a bike you can sort of turn round and it's not too difficult I'm just trying to think how you get to that one now I always miss that from that first to second it's a definite two clunk you know most bikes you flick it and it just goes but on this one with this tow and earlier anyway I don't know if I don't know if the other 350s are any different so hang on a sec that's no entry down there so you can't go that way so hold on a sec you would have thought that would have been A definite two clunk and if you're not careful you miss it well I do anyway I'm just thinking I don't know if this is going to be the way to down there maybe But again, I think this is going to be a few cars around there and a few people on the beach, which is fair enough because that's what they all do. No difference to what we're actually doing. This end, if I remember rightly, tends to be a little bit more busier than the other end. So, because you can go, yeah, this is quite busy here, look. So you can go, it could be a, no the drone's not going up today I think, it's going to be a, it's going to be a no go with the drone eh? We can actually go in here. <laughs> and uh, stop there. Well, there you go, eh? Too many people ready to get the drone up, so I decided not to put it up. So, that's it, a little ride to the beach, which uh, was quite pleasant. So I'm going to end this video here now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the ride along. Hopefully you did. I'm just going to sort my gears out. Whenever you want to find neutral, you can't find it. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna end this video now, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.